In this video, I'm going to share with you the best trip side in defense in Madden 22. If you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and basically what we do here on the channel is we break down different tips and strategies that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would really encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, it's March 1st, so if you've not joined our Patreon yet, it's a great day to do that because what's going to happen is just for $10 a month, you're going to be able to get access to all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. I've also got a brand new nickel wide nine defense that I'm going to be putting in our membership uh, later this week. So the cool part about being a member is it's only $10 a month. And it gets you access to everything. It gets you every ebook. It gets you every update to every ebook. And it gives you every new ebook that we release. And so we've got 20 guides in there. But the other thing that I want to real quickly uh, let you know is that we update the, the membership every single week with different tweaks and different things um, to current existing ebooks. Um, and so I actually put a major update to our 335 wide stuff in there. I um, think it's a defense that really not very many people are doing out of 335 wide. So if you want to check that out, I think it's probably the best coverage, um, uh, just the best base defense you could probably have. What I'm about to show you with Nickel Normal um, is bringing Nickel Normal back into the conversation as one of the best defenses in the game, specifically for formations like trips tied in and what you really can get out of a special coverage that I'm going to show you in this video. So again, if you want to get better at the game, subscribe. But if you really want to get take your game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to become a Patreon member. Uh, it's only $10 a month and it gets you access to everything over there. And it's a great way to support the channel. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. I'm in the San Francisco defense today. And we're talking specifically about the cover four palms, which is my favorite match defense in Madden. Um, specifically for trips uh, type sets because what you get is you get a special check so to illustrate this I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna show you cover four quarters um, just as kind of a, a difference and it's real simple in terms of how this is going to defend trip sets so what we're gonna get with uh, the cover uh, four quarters is a matching defense where essentially what how that's gonna work in terms of the the way that it's gonna defend a trips set is essentially what we're going to get is quarters just to the trip. So now what you're going to see is if the number three receiver goes on a vertical route, then that quarter zone on the right side of the screen is going to be responsible for him if all three receivers go vertical. Where this can be problematic is if a tight end goes underneath. You're going to see that you're going to get a little bit of a check, a um, couple checks, and now you could have a potential problem. And I'll show you that in another way that makes it a little bit more clear. So if I were to take you know a concept like this, right here against the quarters which again you know match gets beaten by weird combos but this is an example right here and you see you've got your streak up the seam because that quarter is responsible for him if he goes vertical what i like about palms is if number two goes vertical and if um, you're going to see that the quarter flat is actually going to match him and so um, it's one of the real big advantages to running cover four palms so what you're going to see here is let's say for example that i put um, run that same exact route combination now you're going to see that the safety on the left side of the screen is going to be responsible for him and then this quarter flat on the left is going to be responsible for that corner route and now you have the tight end being manned across the formation so very very good little concept now how can we make this a little bit better well we can make this a little bit better by leveraging the power of man align within the nickel normal defense so what I like to do with this is we're going to man align and what you're going to see is the corner is going to come over and then I like to shift my linebackers to the right. You might ask why would you do that? The primary reason I like to do that is because it gives me some nice pressure. I can blitz this guy off the edge and I can blitz this guy off the edge. So now I've got a pressure threat that they have to concern themselves with if I blitz here or if I blitz off the other side. I've got my user in the middle of the, of the field of course. And then now we can create um, some coverage assignments. So what I like to do from a coverage perspective with this is we know that the number three receiver is the most important receiver in trip side end. So what we're gonna do is man him up. We're gonna put his this guy right here in man to man coverage. Now what you're gonna see is, and then the last thing that I like to do is take the linebacker on the back side of this and put him in a curl flat. The reason I like to put that linebacker in a curl flat is so that he doesn't go anywhere he stays outside there for any kind of underneath crosser that could be coming over the middle of the field and then this allows us from this point to go ahead and blitz our user and now we can drop p 
people into zones. So, for example, one thing you could do is drop your defensive end on the right side of the screen into a bluff blitz, and you can drop your defensive end on the left side of the screen into a vertical hook. This is kind of a really um, cool little coverage defense. So what you're going to notice is now if I, let's say, for example, that I run a concept that looks like this, we're going to have pretty decent coverage. And even more than that, you're going to notice that we're going to play really solid match coverage across the board. So again, here, here's your matching concept. You see you got that nice man coverage on everybody on the field, and you see how good of defense this is going to play for you. Now, one of the best route combinations, and this is really one of the main reasons why I like this concept so much, but one of the best route combinations in trips tight end is this slant post concept. And this is a really, really good defense for that. So again, by man aligning and by setting this front right here, what we're going to be able to see with this is we're going to get really, really good coverage on the uh, number three receiver. So the primary person we're going to have to concern ourselves with is the tight end. And what you're going to notice with this concept, I'm not going to use for anybody, you're going to notice the safety on the right side of the screen is, is going to do a pretty decent job at going with the tight end. You see how he basically runs the route for him? And that's a very difficult throw. It makes it a very tight throw. Obviously, you can go user that if you want to. One of the real benefits, of, what I like about match is that it is is basically, the way I try to describe it is it's it's not, not necessarily like completely safe, but it's fairly safe man-to-man uh, -man coverage. It's man-to-man -man coverage that adapts, right? And so we want to have cover guys covering cover guys and linebackers covering backs or tight ends. In this example, you're going to notice that, again, this, this running back, he's the only one that's not really accounted for. It's because most people in trip tight end don't really use him. And if they do, he's going to be on a little out route or a little underneath pattern. So, again, I want to show this concept, but now I want you to look at the number three receiver. You're going to see man coverage and the purple really doing a good job. And then backside, you see how that safety will undercut that tight end post and put that in a bad position as well. Now, the other thing that this makes really effective is if you take a look at the instant replay, you're going to notice, again, this quarter flat is basically if two goes out, like let's say two goes out or goes up, right, Quarter flat's going to guard him. So you're going to see here, he's going to become a flat defender. Now we have this vertical hook. And this vertical hook does a really good job of giving us some time for our other guy to be able to catch up to that tight end post. So it makes them have to hold the ball. And now they have to throw this ball over in here, which allows this guy to run and go get it. Now the other thing that I want to showcase real quick is this. You've got a one-on-one -on -one over here. This is really the place that you can get burned. So what I like to do is kind of shadow that. If I feel like I have good coverage on that, then I'll get off of that. But what you'll see is by and large, you know, you're going to play pretty decent against that as well. And then as you see, again, the tight end post gets matched really well. As long as, and, and, and really what I would recommend that you do is if, if at all possible, if at all possible when you're setting up your coverage, and I'll show you the skinny post here real quick as well. But if, if at all possible when you're setting up your coverage, if you can bring this guy down a little bit, like right in there, that's very, very helpful um, for the way the coverage is going to play out. Because what you're going to notice is now he is going to be able to get underneath the safety on the left side significantly easier. So again here, if you watch, you see how he gets underneath that. They don't run into each other. And then, of course, over the top, that's a deep out elite. And you see that we're still playing that really, really well. So to me, this is one of the better coverages in Madden, um, especially for cover or for tray or trip sets. And then the cool part is you can blitz from this. So let's say, for example, that we're not too worried about their running back, okay? And we're just going to say we're responsible for the running back. Well, we could run this coverage right here and have a pretty decent beat on the running back because our user is going to be on him. If they run a corner route to the tight end, I think this is a great example but let's say they run a concept like this, if you will. I think this is a great example. So we're sitting six. Um, you're going to see the tight end is going to get absolutely bagged. And then your pressure should come off of one of those edges. And really all you're responsible for is that drag. So you can carry that drag as the user. It's coming right into your line of sight. So it's another way that we can, again, put ourselves in a position where we can basically handle anything that the, anything that the uh, opponent is going to throw at us. If they throw doubles in sale, and again, they block their running back, uh, I wouldn't do it out of doubles in sale. They're going to do it out of PA counter go, just so you know. I mean, that's just the way they're going to play uh, if they if they know what they're doing out of this. But 
you know, when you get into a concept or maybe they're doing something like this, I want to show the corner route real quick because I want to show you what this quarter zone is going to do to it. But again, you know that you've got to carry number three if number three goes across the formation. So your user literally is here and then you bail out and you see the pressure comes in really nicely. Okay, the pressure comes in really nicely. Now, the last thing that I want to illustrate uh, real quick with this is how this does against the tight end corner. And the tight end corner is something that if you run a lot of main coverage, that's something that a, a good church tight end player is going to run a tight end corner route. So they're going to run something like this, maybe even out of the play verticals. What you're going to see is that this um, safety is going to absolutely blanket that route and make that really, really hard to complete. That's one of the reasons why I really like this coverage against trips tight end. So the beauty of palms and what we've done in the Patreon is we've taught not only how to run this against trips tight end, but we've tried to go super in depth this year on match and really dive in deep in terms of teaching exactly how the coverage works formation to formation. So if you want to learn that, or if you want to just become a better Madden player, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. You're going to get our nickel normal stuff, which is mostly match coverages, cover two, cover three. Um, as well as some man concepts as well as some pressure we just put a major update in with a ton of blitzes for you um, but if you want to get access to all of those all of that that's just one ebook we've got 20 of them so if you want to get access to everything that we've got in the membership it's only ten dollars a month and the cool part about it is like i said you're getting any new stuff as well so as soon as it's literally your one-stop shop for everything it gets you everything ten dollars a month there's a link in the description below if you want to go check that out Thanks for watching the video today. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there for you.